So we're gonna make fish curry with coconut milk. It's really, really delicious, this one. Really, really good. Okay, so you just saw one whole fish there. That's actually two fish. What I've done is I've taken the head off a little bit of the tail and cut it into nice pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add turmeric, salt, pepper, a little bit of oil and chili powder to this and then we're gonna fry it, set it aside and move on. Now you can use any type of fish that you want. This is sea bream, but yeah, anything works. So a large mixing bowl, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon black pepper, heap teaspoon chili powder, and the same for turmeric. We're gonna get some oil, I'm just using a sunflower oil in there. We're gonna give that a mix, coat the fish, I'll see you at the cooker. Okay, so I've got a frying pan here, I've just put the heat on, medium heat. We're gonna get our fish and drop it in. They've got enough oil on there. You don't need to add any more oil into the pan. They could be using kingfish here, cod, hamor, anything, any fish goes really, I suppose, some tilapia. Okay, one more piece. And then, some more of the mixture there. Medium heat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry this fish for about four minutes on each side. Easy. Okay, off goes the heat. Now, don't worry if your fish isn't cooked all the way through yet, because obviously we've got quite a bit of cooking to go. So we're gonna set this to one side. We're gonna keep most of this oil though to fry the masala in, because it's got some lovely flavors in it. We've got some nicely cooked bits of fish there. Yeah, don't waste that oil. It's got really lovely flavors from the fish and the spices. We're gonna be continuing. Let me show you what else we need to make this. So it's very simple, the rest of the ingredients. There's our fish, obviously. Here I've got 450 ml of coconut milk, one cup of onions cut small, one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste. I've got quite a lot of dried chili there, five or six dried chilies, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, and then the big four, one teaspoon turmeric, coriander, chili, and cumin. Let's get back to the cooker. So here we go. We've got that lovely oil with the flavors in there. We're gonna drop in the chili and the cumin seeds and just let them do their thing in that oil for a few seconds. I've just put the heat on, so we're on an above medium heat. Okay, now we're gonna drop in the one cup of onion. And I'm gonna be stirring this just for three minutes. Beautiful. One tablespoon garlic ginger paste. Some salt. We're gonna add in our powders just run through those again for you. So that's a teaspoon each of chili, turmeric, cumin, and coriander. Or if you want a curry powder mix that you might have. We're gonna drop our fish back in. Very, very easy method this one is. We're gonna go with our 450 ml of coconut milk. I'm gonna lower the heat to just below medium and I'm gonna let that go for five minutes. Okay, now to me, that looks absolutely divine. 
I'm going to finish this with a nice big pinch, maybe half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. And then fresh mint. Now, if you want, you could put coriander or cilantro in, whatever you call that. But I'm going for the mint. I love that in here. Now, you may have noticed that there's no fresh chili in here. But that's going to go on top, along with some thinly sliced ginger. That is beautiful. Let me get that on the plate and we can finish this off. And there you go, wonderful. Now what I've done is I've got some fresh ginger, cut it nice and thin and put that on the top. It's really lovely. I'm gonna throw some lovely fresh chili on there in a moment. That's it, really good. Hope you enjoy that, see you soon, lots of love. Hi, how you doing? Thanks so much for checking out our videos. Really, really do appreciate it. We're busy as ever. We're pumping out and pumping out some fantastic food. Well, we think it's fantastic. So Chef June's got his own channel now. Please check that out. He's doing great guns on there, all in Togalo, some fantastic food he's making. Rahel's doing her Armaric channel, which has been going on for some years now, and she's doing great. But please check it out if you want to know about Ethiopian food, although it is all in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. Uh, the vegan channel's doing okay. Could do with a bit of help, actually. So pop over there and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're doing fine. We're still here in Bahrain at the moment. It's very hot, as you could imagine. But yeah, happy as can be. Now, if you'd like to help the channel out, uh, you could uh, buy us a coffee, or there's a little link will pop up now, maybe, or something will pop up or something. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, that would help us out a great deal. Really, really appreciate all of you send messages and follow us you know, on a regular basis. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.